on today's episode of All Work No Play. And one, two. Yes! That makes me worried. <laughs> Coming up. All Work No Play. Um, I think between last episode and this episode yeah. of this new video broadcast, uh-huh. we've we've professionalized the institution. Yeah. I think we know what we're doing now. We're established now. Watch this, Liam. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of All Work, No Play. I'm Sam Regal, and this is... Liam O'Brien. And we're here for another fun example of... Nope, that's it. <laughs> that's all I got. I, I said example. <laughs> I, I wanted to say episode. <laughs> no, nope. a couple of dumb fucks at a table with a little bit of whiskey in a cup. Let's talk yeah. about by our the way, lives. This tastes great. Yeah. I, I, did Marisha make this? This was made by our creative director. Mm. Long may she reign. Mm. That is good. I love it. It's cold. <sighs> that is not Kool-Aid. Um, Liam, we're back again. We, we need to talk about our lives some more. I have the pleasure of sitting at this table with you again and <sighs> pretending like our love is only platonic. I don't do a very good job of pretending. Um, well, it's great to see you. It's great to be with you. It's mm-hmm. great to just hang out and chill. We, we did some more fun stuff that we want to tell the people about. At yeah, some yeah, point. yeah. We'll get to that. But I, I want to, you know, again, we, we get together. Check in. We got to check yeah, in. Yeah, we get together once a week and we save uh, the fantasy world from fantasy dangers. Or cause them, but I want to catch up with you about how your life is because I care. Yeah, um, we can just get real, right? Okay, this yeah. is just two dudes getting real, real talk, real talk. Wait, hold on, I'm not ready. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. A mm. little realer mm. now. How are your kids? My kids are great. Yeah, let's go bigger picture than we did last week. Okay, we talked how about so? birthday parties. That's little stuff. Yeah, yeah, Fuck yeah. That. Fuck birthday. How old are your kids now? Do they have jobs yet? <laughs> uh, you know, funnily enough, yeah. uh, my son does have a job. My son is six. Yeah. My daughter's four. Um, I did not mean to set the ball up for that spike. No, but by the it, way. It, my son but has your a son gig. is a working man. My son, yeah. I've Get gotten worker. him to do some voiceover stuff, mm-hmm. usually with me as the director. There's a little nepotism. Um, but, uh, yeah, he's come to work for, for me on a couple of cartoons. Mm-hmm. Um, and geez, this guy, so lucky. The first role he ever had on a cartoon, they made a toy of his character Yeah, with his voice in the toy. What? So now he just assumes that that's what happens in life. <laughs> he, he <laughs> your really... dad brings you to work one day and you get a toy with your voice on it. He really is your child. <laughs> You mean lucky in every way? Yeah, just handed an entertainment career right off the bat. Here you go, sunny boy, Broadway tour. Go sing and dance with your gigantic smile and win the world over. It's just that easy. (sighs) Listen, he's had to work real hard to get to where he is. Uh Uh-huh. He went to the workshops. He he paid his dues. (laughs) Yeah, he paid his dues. (laughs) Had to work for that equity card. Had to go be an extra (laughs) so many times till till it shat out that SAG card. Oh, yeah, yeah. Man. No, he's a he's a pretty lucky kid, um, but he's a great kid, and he loves doing it, and he loves mm-hmm. hanging out with me at, at work and doing the cartoons, and he's done some dubbing work. He dubbed a film that's right. going to come out next year. Mm-hmm. He had to replace the voice of some some other young actor who couldn't speak very clearly. Right, right. They're not um, feeling the Mickey Mouse they have anymore. So <laughs> Yeah, but it's then. weird to watch him do the stuff that we met doing. Like we started doing dubbing together. You oh know? my god, we lived we 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 lived and died by anime dubbing for years. Yeah, and now my six year old son is doing dubbing. That's and it's pretty cool. It's weird. That fly from last week is back. Oh yeah. It's probably lives at the studio. Um but yeah my kids are are at a real mm-hmm. adorable age. Mm-hmm. Um, um, they, they, they don't have diapers anymore. So it's, yeah, nice. we're kind of, you're, you are joining me in the sweet spot where there is no more, um, car. Well, I have no more car seats, no more car seats. Not How do you protect all. your children from death? Uh, guns. Oh, sure. Lots and lots of guns. There's just guns all around the uh-huh. car. If you know me, you know, it's guns. <laughs> um, we, we travel a lot every summer. We'd make a point of traveling somewhere by plane and, for a couple of years, we had the full-on car seats that I would strap to my back like Roman shields and just oh, walk through the airport like you? this. Yeah, it is. Oh, yeah, we did. And then the it worst. felt like such an upgrade to go from 
one Roman shield to one of just the, the booster, which is just like yeah. a buckler, mm -hmm. right? Okay. And then I had two bucklers, and now I got nothing. Wow. And I can put the kids in a taxi. It's like the the restraints you are off. We can Uber go your kids. We Ubered yesterday. Wow, yeah. that's madness. Back to the entertainment industry. What? Though. Your son. <laughs> You're like a viper. Yeah, okay. your son. So he's he's already started his VO path. He's done yeah. Anime. He's set. He's all done. Right. My he's daughter gonna... has not started working yet. She's only four. Right. How yeah, soon she's five. are you? going to put her in the mines though i saw an opening for um uh late shift uh loading loading guy at a at the fedex right so she's gonna be loading the trucks at the fedex at right, night right you know that's that's kind of like physical labels hard physical labor physical label. physical labels are hard did you get them no <laughs> <laughs> maybe start her off with something easier like telemarketing sure Data entry, mm. uh, accounting, word processing, word processing. That's right. a thing. Is that a thing? It used to be. I don't know. Well, I spent a lot of time trying to figure out how Excel worked in the '90s. You used to have some fun jobs, fundraising. Weren't you a fundraiser? Oh God, I was that asshole who would call you at home when you didn't want to be. But I didn't do it for vacuum cleaners. I did it for the theater. I worked. That's for, like being an actor. Uh, yeah, I worked for the Mark uh, Taper Foreman and Amundsen Theater here in town for a couple of years. Was really good at it. Won a trip to Hawaii, uh, lost my mind slowly Pitch over a me. period of three years. I'm a, I'm a, I just call me up. Please uh, don't I, make me relive that hello? chapter of my yeah, life. Who's this? Huh? Oh, hey, Mr. Uh, Regal. Hey, it's just Liam yeah. calling you from the theater. I'm How's in the it going? I'm middle of a thing. No, I know nobody wants to get these calls, but uh, you know, it is that time of year again, and Amundsen and Taper, uh, you know, they've got their kids' programs it's are just rolling that out. I'm burying and, a body right now, and I don't have much. Well, you're going to need to save your soul, and you want to do that through the magic of the arts. Oh, so if you okay. Could give anywhere fair. between ninety and eleven $1 hundred dollars. You could either get just either a flyer in the mail. Let me check or the body. Better seats. Uh, the body has eleven $1 hundred dollars on it. Okay, I'll send it in. When I was in New York City, <laughs> I tried to do that for. I, I did it for the Manhattan Theater Club in New York, great mm -hmm. theater. And then I stopped that job and just. I was doing regional theater around the country, and I had to find another one, and I tried to do it for one week for medical products. Oof. Oh, my God. My soul just darkened and dimmed and was the tiniest candle flame for one week. And then I ran screaming, and then I moved to Los Angeles, and everything oh, worked out. That's great. So that's the part of the... VH1 behind the music. Does VH1 exist anymore? I don't VH1 know. behind the music. That's the dark one. That's the dark part of. Does of VH1 it. exist anymore? Nope. Kind of. Oh, it does. Oh. Nope. I got. I got a no, that's a nodding, and a kind of information. <laughs> My daughter uh -huh. uh, also loves the arts. Is a big ham. Okay. My daughter is kind of like Travis in a way. Travis Willingham of Critical Role and voice acting. Name drop. Renowned name drop. In that she is an amazing fucking athlete. She just ran a race this really? past uh, weekend. Um, and there were 200 people in the race. She was sixth in line with Whoa. the girls. She was the first from her school. Whoa. She, I take her to Venice Beach uh, here in California. And they have those rings. It's like yeah, seven sure. or eight rings in a row. No one can do those. They're really right. My daughter up. goes across like Spider-Man and comes back. She is oh built God. like a friggin' tank. Romper Stomper is, um, but at the same time, is Big Ham loves drama. Wants to, she's done Shakespeare classes. Um, I'm terrified wow. of throwing her into the wolves den. Well, it sounds like she Los can Angeles. protect herself by either running or fighting with it's, her muscles. Well, I also want to get her into martial arts so that she can break off the nuts of anyone who goes where they shouldn't. Not just kick them, but break them off. Break them off. Okay, sure. To help herself and future women <laughs> with that particular. As an individual. example, mm -hmm. um, you. Uh, another thing I'm going to bring up because I want to talk about your kids and my kids um, in a nondescript way. Sure. Uh, is Dungeons and Dragons, which has taken over I've heard of it. our lives, mm -hmm. right? In the best way possible. I run games for my kids. You run, you have run a game, two I've games? Run, I've run a couple games for my kids. Yeah. Um, I certainly tell my child about our Critical Role show every week, and he hangs on every word. Right. But my son also, this summer at summer camp, played Dungeons and Dragons a lot in summer camp. They had a D and D like program at the summer camp. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Actually. Well, yes. And at, uh, after the first week, he said that the teacher stopped coming, and I was like, "Who's running the game?" Yeah. And he's like, "I am." What? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? That's amazing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So has he told told you about his experience DMing for other? Uh, yes. I don't think it was. Uh, there were no rules, really. He would just kind of. Well, that's tell. the way it should be. Yeah, that's yeah. the way it should. Be. I don't even know if he knows that there are different dice. Mm -hmm. That reminds me, I I drive a carpool of of 
one, two, three, four uh, girls to Holy my daughter's moly. school. My daughter uh, has a, a, a Ravenloft D&D campaign, so she's Ooh. way in, and my son is way in. But and you run these games. I run games for my daughter with four of her uh, girlfriends from school mm-hmm. and my son with two of his friends from his school. Sounds like a full-time job. It's the best to watch there. I have bright kids, and uh, their responses to it all is fascinating. And I mean, I'm a nerd, so I like just playing the game more. Um, but my daughter, in our carpool, there's another girl who plays in her own D&D game, unrelated. Okay. Uh, Wait, oh, she has a side game? Has though? a side game. Okay. Her dad might watch Critical Role. But um, they, on the car rides to school just this past week, have started saying, okay, here we go. We're on an adventure, and I play, like, fantasy music. In, in the, the car? car? Yeah, and, and they're saying, like, okay, we got to go. Oh, no, the spies are coming. Run, run, run. Whoa. So they're essentially, that is essentially Dungeons & Dragons without in a moving worrying car. about, did I get the right amount of D6s rolled? If or you have an the- accident, would, would you tell the police officer, I was a little distracted because they had just encountered uh, a beholder, sir? My daughter's friend. Rolled a nat 20. <laughs> Everyone gets excited. My hands might have flown off the wheel in celebration. You can't blame me for that. Yeah, yeah I feel like that's a valid excuse. Why are you cuffing me behind my back? <laughs> yes. Um, that's incredible. Yeah. Um, I was going to say, my wife doesn't know what happened because this, like, before this, all of this mm-hmm. became a thing and we played D&D at home, it was just like, you are in my bowling night, right? Mm-hmm. Like, every six weeks we'd go off and we'd play games and... and, and It was dorky and stupid. Yeah, and our wives would go, where are you going? Which which is no longer a thing, but, like, my house is bathed in D&D. My kids are D&D, like, addicts. <laughs> uh, I'm a D&D addict. Um, when my wife and I met, like, the unifying, the, the thematic thing was was the theater which mm-hmm. still exists but now like it's just everywhere we go there's dragon heads and spell cards and miniatures oh and God. dwarven forge and all this all this stuff and 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 amy takes it with grace she's just like okay good 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 everybody for her. loves it she's a good person <laughs> she is a good person i realized when i was talking about my son the, yeah. the actor right uh i didn't call him by name because the results of that poll haven't come back. No. Uh, he used to be called Harry Donald Trump. Harry Donald Trump. And we're still just waiting on uh, the lawyers from Anderson yeah, uh, Cooper. Some results Anderson are in, Cooper but there's to, a lot of hanging no, chats. No, that's, that's not a law firm, is it? <laughs> that's a man on CNN. Um, <laughs> Once we get the whole hanging Chad debacle figured sure, out, we'll have sure. results for that. Next week, next right. episode, we'll have the, the results and the name mm-hmm. of my new... Uh, code name for my son. How is the artist formerly known as HDT? I mean, he's he's the greatest. He's is he still skateboarding? He has taken a break from skateboarding lessons because uh-huh. he's a, a big into gymnastics now. Oh yeah, yeah. He's on the boys the boys pre team, which I think is a scam. <laughs> I think everyone gets on the boys pre-team so okay. they can get you to pay more, to take more lessons. Mm-hmm. He's real scared of Harry Potter, but we've been reading a lot of comic books. We're okay. reading Squirrel Girl now. Um, he loves watching Double Dare. Old episodes? Old of episodes of Double Dare where are on, they, on where Netflix. They, uh, gang, if you don't know what Double <laughs> Dare it is, it's a, it's a great uh, kids game show from the 80s? <laughs> Maybe the late 80s, 80s, late 80s yeah, early 80s. 90s. Man, I watched that. Hosted by Mark Summer, who I I heard later. This is going to be fascinating for the audience who no, doesn't care or know what Double Dare is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Double Dare is a show where kids compete in physical challenges, and they usually get slimed or covered with fake snot or whipped they cream. To, they had a giant nose on set that you yeah, that was dig the, in or the something. Picker or whatever. Um, whatever. Uh, Mark Summer, the host, was apparently a germaphobe. So every episode, he had to get all this slime all over him oh, and stuff. And, and kids. And kids. And, and at night, he must have just gone home and boiled his hands. Oh, in, my God. In, in boiling water. Yeah. My kid is into that. Is into that? How? But you made that happen somehow. Well, yeah. Yeah. I, I just found it on Netflix one day, and, and he just loved it. You didn't know that he would treat it like crack cocaine. Yeah. The other thing about that show back in the day, because I watched it when I was at my babysitter's, was that often the prize would be... Uh, like a five or ten minute marathon at Toys R Us Ooh. where you got to run with a cart and they would show the kids not uh, trying to shove as much as they could in. And if they got got it and got back to the finish line, they could keep all that. If they filled the cart and didn't get back, they kept none of it. Oh, and I used to obsess about what I would do. Okay. May I blow your mind right now and tell you that I had one of those experiences as a child? What? 
I went to high school at a performing arts high school in New York City, and one of our fellow co-students was a young man named a Macaulay Culkin. Name drop. Name drop. Uh, of Home Alone fame, and he for his birthday party, he had his birthday party at FAO Schwartz, okay. which is the greatest toy store in New York. Gone now? Maybe. I think it's gone now. But it's, yeah, it was, it's, on, it's in Big, in the movie Big. It it's was, a great, it's amazing New York toy, toy store. Uh, Landmark. And, and during his birthday party, that that happened. We were all told, like, yeah, you, yeah, you yeah. You go for five minutes, you get whatever you want. <laughs> and it was... It was amazing. It is super fucking hard to be your friend and love you. <laughs> I, I try and I try and every day you make it a little bit harder. You know what though? This, the thing about this, the thing about this show right now, all work, no play, yeah. is we can make those kinds of dreams come true. If you had a dream like that as a kid, this show can make it happen. Natasha, can we do... A five-minute shopping spree at a toy store for Liam as an episode, if we wanted to? Absolutely. Toys R Us is bankrupt. <laughs> it can't be Toys R Us. KB Toy Store. I hate everyone in the studio right now. <laughs> but, but dreams, okay, maybe not that dream, but dreams like that yes. we can make come true yes, are, on this. We are going to realize show. a lot of things yeah. in the three episodes that this show runs. Uh, we have some fun to talk about on the show. We... Uh, had some tap dance uh, lesson. The tap dance, which yeah. is, is very much out of the box for us. Oh my God, I don't know how to dance. I don't know. I don't have any rhythm. I don't have any rhythm. I don't have any rhythm. Got no rhythm. Got no rhythm. Um, but we took our friend Courtney Taylor, who folks might know from things like Fallout 4. Uh-huh. Uh, Mass Effect. I've heard of it. Uh, OK Go, Let's Be Heroes, I think is all the craze. Not OK Go, that's a Not band. OK Go, OK Let's- K.O. OK K.O., that's yeah. it. Sorry, Court. <laughs> Uh, okay, KO. Sorry, Let's be okay, go. Um, yeah, uh, she's amazing. She's an amazing she's voice amazing. actor. She sounds like gritty, gritty toughness. And she uh, said that she would come hang out with us while we went mm -hmm. to a uh, tap studio right here. called Dance Dimensions. Oh, plug, name drop, name drop, dance drop. Um, and she had the most experience. Out of the three of us. She's had some proper dance training. We got there to Dance Dimensions uh, in yeah. Woodland Hills. Oh, oh, whoa. Hi, hi. That was sweet. Why, why you didn't do I anything? Know, I'm sorry. <laughs> we met our amazing dance teacher, Valerie Rocky. Hello. Hello. I'm Valerie. I'm Sam. Sam. Hi, I'm Courtney. Valerie, Courtney. Nice to meet you. Hi, Liam. Liam, nice to meet you guys. You guys are going to tap dance with me, yeah? I, that doesn't, I don't <laughs> think that sounds right. We're going to tap dance at you. That's right. Oh. It's also okay. a very broad term, so, yeah. tap dance. So where, what's your skill level? Uh, Be beginner? <laughs> I did gymnastics as a kid. Ooh, it's it's round that right won't now. help you today, but that's okay. I took a little tap when I was a young Broadway star. Oh, wow. <laughs> Always with the Broadway star. Uh, uh, um, I took tap dancing in second and third grade. Okay. Still right here. But she was tapping at a fourth grade level. So we have a lot to learn today then. Yes. yes. We had requested outfits. I went a little more classical than you. Yeah. I would say you had a little more flair, Pan flair, panache. Yeah. Yeah, well, uh, I, I, showmanship. I figured if you're going to dance, you might right. as well put it all on the line, lay it all right, on the right. line. It's a tap outfit, and that's what this is. It's just pure tap. you got to feel it in your bones. Some people trained to be a tap dancer. I was born to be a tap dancer. I really look terrible. <laughs> I'm a real boy. Oh, bigger. I oh. loved your outfit, your tuxedo. Mm -hmm. I loved it partially because it was yours. It was my tuxedo yes. that I gave you. This is how we do it in show business. You set them up and you knock them down. Courtney wore something classic, flattering, yeah. beautiful. Hey. Guys, this is momentous. I have been waiting for heel to tap shoes my entire life. She looked like she'd do a cabaret act. When I was seven, I wanted the heel tap shoes. My mom would not let me have them. She was abusive. <laughs> to be continued. Hey. Hey. hey! I'm just gonna dance in the chair. You're a star. I wore something a little more form fitting. Oh, there's so much camel toe going on. Yeah. More, more complimentary to the dancer's body. More dazzling. Yeah. This is Thanos' final form when he gets all five <laughs> infinity stones. <laughs> Don't look at me! <laughs> Oh, Gene Kelly! That's how you do it, right? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> so okay. there's a lot 
lot of raw talent here, is what we're saying. Well, tap dancer, tap dancer, and I don't really know what to say about this one. This is tap. It's pure is tap. It? Yeah. Valerie Rocky. Valerie Rocky. Who is a fantastic dancer. She yeah. was on So You Think You Can Dance, mm -hmm. and I believe she was the tap dancing runner up or something. I don't know. She's real good, though. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Can you do that? Uh, um, no. We had a little one-on-one -on -one audition thing, right? It wasn't it wasn't an audition, it just sort of a, a showcase of our abilities. She would do something and then we would have to yeah, repeat it. Repeat God. after me. Repeat after me. Ready? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, what? <laughs> Good, you got the rhythm. Ready? Wow. That is not fair. Do it best you can. Great, it won't sound anything like that. <laughs> Just, yeah, sell it. Uh, the ending was great. Okay, yep. we'll get back to that. Ready? Yeah, yeah I'm ready. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, we have some work to do. We all did pretty badly. Courtney was okay, I no, think. No, Courtney was okay, and Courtney was in between you and me, whereas you had the big bouffant moves, and I was just goo 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 goo, mm -hmm. and she actually could pull off some exactly, of it. Exactly, great. Good job, Courtney. Your steps are awesome. None of the three of us were good at stringing together all the different mm -hmm. dance steps mm -hmm. that Val tried to get yep. to stick in her head. Two, three. Good job, uh. Liam, what happened? <laughs> Separate your step heel. Huh? Dig, brush, step, heel. What? 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 <laughs> what? I don't have my ear trumpet in. No. <laughs> the murderer is coming. <laughs> Try to make it not look so difficult. <laughs> Liam, this was challenging. But then on the individual moves, I thought that you excelled. So we went through moves like the P. Diddy. Love the hips. Which is not the real name, but that's what we called the move. Okay. We did some Irish dancing, which I felt that you were particularly in, good at. In, in isolation. Yeah, know, yeah. Or um, stringing it all together. We sure. did a falap ball change thing, Flat which ball. you eventually got, if I'm remembering correctly. This is good. Nope. You are taking... Uh, the shitty facts of life and putting a gloss of beauty on them, and I appreciate it. I, uh, and then we did the wings. Do you remember the wings? I remember you doing the wings. I did the wings pretty well. Oh! Jeez. Come on. Okay, wait, Come on. no, don't get, don't get cocky. <laughs> that was where I shined. Again, because it's mostly this. Yeah, yeah. And a little feet. Mm -hmm. Oh, look over here. Oh, look over here. <laughs> hardy, hardy. Um, and then before we fully rehearsed the routine that we learned. The routine, yeah. She gave us... Canes, uh -huh. which I thought were much more difficult to use than just not using canes. Five, six, seven. Oh. <laughs> I hit something. It's okay. It's not a light. It's just the sprinklers. Well, let's not hit it again. So she taught us a routine, um, yep. which was kind of long. Yeah, it was too long. It was, I mean, for us, for, not for her. For, for It was too short for her. Yeah. Way too long. I, it, it felt like there was a hundred moves. Shall we learn a dance? Yes, we shall. Yes, ma'am. Um, or we're going to get beaten like my mom did. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> kidding. Oh, no. No more mom jokes. We hold one, two, three, four, swivel, snap, swivel, snap, turn, two, three, four, tap, tap, look, look. Oh. I feel the dance. So uh, we learned our routine. Mm -hmm. um, we all had to perform it individually. Oh, yeah. And you, brave soul that you are, you went first. Yeah, I want to get it out of the way. Uh, I remembered about 20% <laughs> of it. Ah, I'm doing it the wrong way entirely. <laughs> we were shouting out the moves from off stage. Doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> really doesn't matter. Well, because when matter. you're tapping, you just go tunnel vision, right? You can't hear anything. You just see the tap. You did great. I was proud of you. Aww. You did You did a fair job. Mm -hmm. uh, then Courtney went second. Yeah. She was graceful, amazing. But She's had some proper dance training. Courtney um, knew what I knew, which I is feel like, like, don't try to, you're not going to top a man in a rainbow suit. <laughs> So back off and let do him work Do you think she had fun with us? Or do you think she thought we were f just fucking idiots? I don't think those are mutually exclusive. That's true. That's true. Uh, ideas. Um, and then I tapped. I, I, uh, I remembered most of my shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
it must have been very trying on her patients yeah. to to teach people who a didn't have a lot of skill, but b oh. also um, well, we weren't demeaning to the the to the art form, but we. I mean, we no. weren't serious about it, right? I went in <laughs> with an open heart and knowing that I would be terrible, but that I would do my best. The Did thing not. with you as a dancer. <clears throat> I got him. Did you? Yeah. Is that a different one? Possibly. Is this a, 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 or a, a he's recurring very, segment of our he show? Has a, he has a lot of uh, fortitude, I guess. Um, the thing with you as a dancer that I noticed that I don't, and this is true of you in life, is like you might not know what you're doing, mm -hmm. but you sell it. You sell it with, you fake it with pizzazz you it. and personality. Yeah. No, that's right? true. I was taught that by my, like you're, my mom. You're, really? Is that where that comes from? Yeah, not specifically from for dance, but just like, just fake it till you make it mm -hmm. kind of thing. Like In like the Eddie Izzard philosophy of like, it's 20% it's, it's of what you say, 80% of yes. how you say it. Yes, exactly yeah. that. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So like your feet were a mess, but like up here... All of this just yeah. made up for Look it. at this. Yeah. Look at this. Don't look down there. Yeah. Which is a bit like Irish dancing and where you separate your upper half uh -huh. of your body from the lower half. Uh -huh. You separate the top half. is supposed to be totally, totally still. And oh. the magic happens down below. But with you, the lack of talent is the waist down. And then <laughs> the upper half is, is the, the magic. The, yeah, the peacock feathers. Got it. Got it. Yeah. I'm like a, I'm like a reverse iceberg. <laughs> I was on the <laughs> other end of the spectrum, which was like, I wasn't good. I didn't look good. It never got good. You started a little stiff. Yeah. I'll admit it. Sure. Um, but I thought that you were diligent mm -hmm. and uh, you got into it a bit more. By the end, you were remembering a, a lot of the moves. That is kind. I enjoyed myself. And at the end of it all, Valerie gave us awards. Courtney, you have won the sexiest award. <sighs> Finally! I wanted that so but bad. But you didn't win overall, so please join the line. <laughs> Liam, step forward. You have won most improved. But you also didn't win, so please take a step back. I Sam, please take happening. a step forward. You have won the best tap dancer. <laughs> <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Oh my gosh! <gasps> wow! <gasps> Guys, I'm gonna share this with you. Aww, and I know so I know we're not allowed to take oh, this out of the building. <laughs> we're not allowed to take this out of the building, but I think we should come and visit it every once in a while. I mean, I thought it was brave of Valerie to commend you for being better than she was even <laughs> with your ability. Yeah. Not as you are, but just your potential. And I, knowing that if you put in a decade or yeah. more like she had, that you would be better yeah, than her. I, I have already told my agent mm -hmm. uh, that it, when, when, so you think you can dance, calls, uh -huh. I'm not interested. I'm happy doing this show with you. Right. Uh, I'm happy doing our Dungeons and Dragons little show. You could find a seventh stardom in TAP mm -hmm. if you wanted to, but you understand that your happiness and future are wrapped yeah. up with the future of your friends I don't want here my kids to be raised building. with a tap dad who's gone on the road all the time at those tap clubs around rough. the country. That is rough. You we know, all know the temptations of a tap dad. Absolutely. Uh -huh. Absolutely. I'll wind up in a tap ditch somewhere yeah. with tap drugs, yeah. <laughs> taking intravenously through my tap shoes. <laughs> this got dark. <laughs> But it was it was fun, and we had a great time, and I got a trophy out of it, and that's all you can really expect on this show, right? I just I fucking enjoyed it, and um, my philosophy in life, and my dad uh, has a, a post-it note on his his desk in his office over a garage in uh, on the Jersey Shore, 
I, I think I've shared this before, but it just says that if you, if you encounter something that you're scared of, that's mm -hmm. the very thing that you should do. And I mm -hmm. am scared of everything, but I just in my later years have decided to embrace those things, mm -hmm. which you will see a lot of on this show, but in um, general. That's why our next episode is uh, Touching Scorpions. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You just give it's them a little... It's very scary, but you, you just, just got to go for it. You just tickle their tail a little bit with your tongue. <laughs> yep. Just a little bit. It's a very a short episode. It's as long as you come with an open heart... Mm -hmm. It's all good. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Um, we haven't done that one yet, but I think it's going to go great. It's going to be great. Yeah. <laughs> I, mean, um, I, I wanted to mention, we wanted to mention that while this show is airing, this yeah. episode of All Work, No Play, you and I will be in New York City. We're not there now. But when this airs, we will be doing New York Comic Con. Yep. Um, Comic Con. And we'll be in our old stomping grounds where we met. Yeah. Where we where uh, we came up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Where we started doing anime together, where we did an animation together. And um, and it's going to be weird. I haven't been back in a while. I go back a lot. Oh, you do? Okay. I go back a couple of times a year. Uh, you're from Virginia. I'm originally from the D.C. area. Yes. Right. Okay. I'm from New Jersey on the cliffs facing Manhattan. My childhood life was was looking at New York City skyline every day of my and life. Hoping to be there one day. Uh, no, I didn't know. I didn't know until I was a teenager that mm. I was gonna like be the chorus line kid and want to be. I did the porn move there. I don't know why. <laughs> uh, to be uh, in New York City doing plays. Chorus line. <laughs> one I hope I get it. Singular I sensation. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I took some hip hop classes at Broadway Dance. Okay. Uh, I was, I, I would say that I was a triple threat, um, but I never specified what those three things were because I didn't want to get pigeonholed and also because there was really only two. I was right. an actor and a singer yeah. and I left the third one vague. Okay. Uh, in the old days, we used to call it an actor who moved well. That means you're not really a dancer mm -hmm. and really shouldn't say that you're a dancer, but you can go to dance auditions and uh, yeah. make it to the second yeah. round. So you took hip hop? I took a couple of hip hop lessons because, you know, in the 90s. Did I you, was cool. Did you? Because I know that you were a Broadway kid, mm -hmm. and I know that you were an acapella nerd. Sure. Did you, at, at that time, because I remember, I know what your headshots look like from that period of time. Mm. You were Tiger Beat material. Mm -hmm. Were you trying to be like a boy band guy? I was not trying. I was in a boy band. We yeah. were called the City Boys with a Z. And we sang oh. we sang songs at Paramus Park Shopping Mall. Oh, and in Jersey, yeah, I know Paramus Kings Kings Road Shopping Mall. I think in Long on Long Island, um, and we would go around and sort of pedal our our boy band moves and songs for all of the giant haired girls of the Ooh, bridge and tunnel crowd. You fuck, hey, you're speaking about my people. <laughs> what? They Those had big hair. People. Yes, they did. Yes, they Z did. Z Cavaricis. Cavaricis I know very well. Sure. My first, uh, this is totally off, well, it's not totally off topic, my first school dance at St. Peter's Preparatory School in Jersey City. All boys school, school drop. Jesuit. <laughs> Jesuit drop. Uh, I, I mean, I grew up in, in New Jersey, which is like, you know, Sopranos territory. Yeah. When I I would yeah. drive to Jersey City in high school. I would pass. I would literally pass some sites that are, were in the opening for The Sopranos. Oh, wow, that's where I went to school. But at that time, I'm just going to tell this short story in in okay. the way the, my neighborhood talked. Uh, people wore cabaricci pants, like mm -hmm. hammer pants, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. right? Vests, a lot of paisley vests, a lot of bolo ties, Ooh. and they would high style. Uh, they would like vanilla ice. They would just <sighs> yeah, but then like buzzed on the sides. Yeah, open of course. And, Fucking zigzags. Oh, that's the coolest. Stripes, yeah. Oh, it's the coolest. One earring. One earring for sure. I had that one earring. <laughs> yeah. For a short time. I did as well. And I can still uh, feel the little, uh, the little knot there. Right I, there. I forget because in one, <laughs> one of my ears, I got like a dimple or something that looks like an earring hole, and one was an earring hole, mm. and I don't remember which one is which anymore. Yeah, I had some white, white Z Cavaricis with like three buckles. This nice is, gold earring right here. This is why we made this show. <laughs> uh, and so there was a school dance, my first school dance at St. Peter's Prep, where I wore the bolo tie mm -hmm. and and those puffy pants. Sure, and spray on some Drakkar Noir. I did not have that because oh. I wasn't cool enough sure. for it. And I wore penny loafers with pennies in them. Man. Yeah. This guy. Yeah. Had to beat the women away, for sure. <laughs> Um, oh, God. How did we get here? I don't know. We were talking about New York. We were talking about dance. Dance. Right. And because we were talking about the fun that we done this week, 
tap dance. Tap right. dancing. You took lessons. I also took uh, tap lessons in New York. Oh, you did? Uh, I misspoke. Not tap. Swing dancing. Ah, that's different. My wife and I, my girlfriend at the time, took swing dancing lessons. And uh, we did that for like a year or two. I got okay at it. And we would go to this place in like the theater district called the Supper Club. Uh Uh-huh. Where we'd get gussied up and there'd be big band music. Wow, that sounds yeah. romantic. It was romantic. It was and great. And you guys were good. Did you have a move that you would go to? The the double drop roll, the the double you death drop? Are I don't give me way too much credit. I don't know. I did have a bowler hat, though, that I would wear okay. occasionally. Did you wear a often. zoot suit? I did not own a zoot suit. Okay. God, those were good. Good nights, though. But more often, I would just go to, like, uh, as far as dance goes, because I don't have any formal dance training, we would go to the tunnel. I've been to the tunnel. Uh, the limelight. I've been to the limelight. These were like the rave spots, the dance clubs. Yeah. The tunnel was just a big dark warehouse, right? Yeah. This is it. Yeah, that's <laughs> this it. This is the whole dance. Got it. We would do that a fucking lot, and I would dance a lot. And I, I the kind of dancing that I don't even feel like I should be doing anymore. No. Like, no. It, Booty grinding. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like when you're when you're. Oof. Like Peter Pan at a young age, like that feels right, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure that anyone wants that now. <laughs> no, no, it no one wants that. Nobody wants. Nobody wants. <laughs> <laughs> Dad at the tunnel. I think the tunnel's gone. I hope it's gone. It the be limelight's gone. definitely. The gone. limelight is a series. The last time I saw the limelight, which was like a den of iniquity, and it was run by drug dealers. I'm pretty sure. Of course it was. I, I know that because when I got out of NYU, a bunch of my uh, actor friends and I formed a, a small theater company mm-hmm. called the Peregrine Theater Company. Oh, how a responsible! Right, and we did a, a, a small. Small uh, production that nobody saw of Spring Awakening, a German play that was later turned into a musical, and we were looking for space to do it. And for a hot second, we thought we were going to do it at the limelight. Like somebody knew somebody, and they were talking to them. And after a week of of going back and forth, we're like, ah, "Got him! I think you got him." <laughs> anyway, we ran <laughs> we ran screaming because we could tell that like by the end of it, one of us would have been dead with like a brick of uh, cocaine shoved. <laughs> Down our pants. Oh, my God. Um, oh, my God. Um, <laughs> anyway, we well, have more I, of these shows, right? Uh, that's debatable. Um, I feel like we learned a lot. Yes, what did we learn? We learned that, uh, that that Liam tap dancing is good for a bit, but nobody wants to watch it ongoing. Mm-hmm. Uh, we learned that uh, D&D is good for kids. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, we did not mention Laura Bailey this episode. Does it? Okay. Uh, hmm. And that's enough. I guess so. Come I guess on, people. What do you expect from us? Right? I can't squeeze blood from a stone. <laughs> I don't know. We better we better wrap it here. All right. We need to come up with more conversation later. Yeah, for our next, next episode week. of uh, Lark No Play. <laughs> that is spooky. <laughs> uh, Goodbye, everyone. Ciao. I know it's still rolling. I know it's really off. They, 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 this is, and everyone, everyone during the sh- the show was mostly quiet. Now they're even quieter. <laughs> yeah, this is the creative director's doing. I, it's like an unspoken rule that they have to be quieter just in case we use this part. But we really shouldn't because this is not entertaining at it's all. It's a razor's edge. This is either really good or really bad. <laughs> We're gonna find out in about two minutes. Mm. Ha, 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 ha,